Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 mysterious stories behind famous photographs in history. Kicking off the list at number 10, the Hook Island Sea Monster. Ah yes, another reason to avoid the ocean, as if our channel wasn't that already. This photo was taken back in 1964. This photo apparently is a sea monster off the coast of Hook Island. This thing is roughly 90 feet in length, so it's pretty noticeable, especially in shallow waters. A man named Robert Lesterac spotted it while he was with his family. He noticed its tail was injured, but its head was massive. Massive. Those are the two noticeable features. Injured tail and a big old head. It looked like a giant tadpole, but many believe it's a giant tarp, but there's not enough evidence either way. What do you guys think? Is it some sort of mythological creature or maybe a now extinct species of fish or just an optical illusion? Maybe just a shadow or a big rock. It could be a rock. Either way, avoid those shallow areas. Stingrays alone? No, no way. Catch me in a lake. Number nine, the skunk ape. This one is exactly what it sounds like. How fun. The skunk ape was seen back in 2000, so hopefully if it was a real thing, it's long gone by now or it's since reproduced and we're screwed. Two photos were taken of this skunk ape creature. This thing looks like Bigfoot's cooler, older cousin. You know, the cousin who has a lava lamp and does kickflips in the garage in October. That's the skunk ape compared to Bigfoot. Bigfoot's old news, get him out of here. What does he do anyways besides Guy's boring. Doesn't do any kickflips. This guy for sure. This guy haunts families, it seems. Anonymous source sent the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department these photos. They mailed them, which for starters, how jarring would that be to open 9 a.m. in the morning? But she claims these photos were taken in her backyard and that this creature was not a black bear. I don't think that's a black bear. If anything, it's a really, really large dog. Those teeth alone are a red flag, either way. Closing that door. Good night. Number eight. Phoenix Lights. Turning the calendars back to 1997, a time long before Photoshop, this photo here shows a series of unidentified aerial phenomena. It's just hovering over Phoenix, Arizona. They were bright and they stuck around for a few hours. This was also only one year after the movie Independence Day came out, so I'm sure this freaked a lot of residents out. Or maybe it's fake because of the movie. Who knows? That's why I'm here. There's many eyewitness reports of the Phoenix lights, so much so that an explanation was demanded. So the US Air Force came forward and said the lights were flares dropping during a training exercise. Yeah, just a casual training night exercise over the city of Phoenix, Arizona. Classic, we always see those. This obviously worried people and the Air Force took responsibility, yet later on in 2007 and 2008, the same lights returned over the city. The same lights returned in the same spot. Still, there has been no explanation that makes any sense. Drones, maybe, was it too soon? I don't know, drones are good. Drones are too good now. That bowling alley video of the drone whipping through, way too good. So you never know. Number seven, Battle of Los Angeles. Of course, we have to mention one of the most unspeakable battles of all time on this list. The Battle of LA, otherwise known as the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, happened during World War II. It happened right at the end of February 1942. This event, first of all, took place only a few months after the Pearl Harbor attack. So everybody was obviously a little stressed out at this point. Something like 25 enemy aircraft was spotted, spotted, flying over LA in the late hours of February 24th. So air raids went off, blackouts were now in effect. This was not a drill, or was it? At this point, it didn't look like a drill. Artillery fire, machine guns, anti-aircraft shells were all going off. It was loud, it was bright, and in total, around 1,400 shells were fired off. Two people had heart attacks as is unfolded. Five people died in total from this retaliation, and it was all a false alarm, apparently. A press conference was held by the Secretary of the Navy, Frank Knox, and he called the incident war nerves. Eh, just some nerves, just some whoops, thought I heard something, eh, false alarm. This is insane. Do we think something was actually there? Is this photo a photo of a false alarm? You be the judge. That's why I'm here. Number six, Spaceman. Look, we've all been photobombed before. It's a blessing in disguise, right? You look back at prom photos, some guy sneezing in the background, making a mess. It's the best. But when Jim Templeton took a photo of his daughter in an empty marsh long before Photoshop existed, might I add, it appears an astronaut photobombed the family moment. Yeah, Jim assures us that nobody was around, which I personally believe. Otherwise, what a weird photo to take in an otherwise empty field. I'd be like, hi, I don't wanna be in this photo. It's weird, right? It makes it more believable. Kodak even got involved in the story, like the company Kodak. They confirmed this photo was not tampered with. Yeah, we're just gonna run everything by Kodak from now on. They were so confident when this happened. Spider-Man Elite, Kodak's like, that's Andrew Garfield. That's authentic, that's a real one. Number five, the Worstead Church. Okay, time to get a little paranormal. <laughs> we love those. Back in 1975, Peter and Diane Berthelot were visiting the Worstead Church in the UK. So like any other visitor does, Peter took a photo of his lovely wife sitting in the spectacle of a church. But later on, once said photo was developed, somebody else was in the photo. Another photo bomb, or something. 
There appears to be a person dressed in all white sitting behind Diane, some sort of figure. How calming is that? Just maybe behind you at all times, who knows? When the couple went back to the same church to ask about who it was or what it was, a local suggested that they may have gotten proof, photo proof, of the white lady. The spirit of a healer who haunts the church. I mean, as far as surprise ghosts go, that's a pretty tame encounter. That's, that's how it should be, if anything. That's how I hope it goes. God forbid I ever encounter a spirit. Is there one behind me right now? I don't want to look. Number four, the Black Knight satellite. Not to be confused with Martin Lawrence's The Black Knight, that's a pretty historical and memorable movie in itself. The Black Knight satellite is something that has been orbiting our planet for thousands of years. Everything else in this list is quite recent, all things considered. This myth is an ancient one. This photo here you've probably seen at one point or another. It was taken back in 1998 during an American mission to the International Space Station. Apparently this guy has been hovering over Earth just watching, just observing us, some sort of alien satellite satellite, that's the theory here. That's a fun theory, no doubt about it, but during a spacewalk in 1998, one of the thermal covers came loose and drifted away from the station. Could this just be that cover? It just looks sinister because it's in space and the photo just looks grainy? I don't know. These photos were originally shared by NASA and it looks a lot different than a solar sail, in my humble opinion. I'm voting alien satellite. I'm gonna lean into that one. I've been watching that one for a few years. I'm into it. Apparently the Illuminati shot it down back in 2015, but I don't know. That's just the internet being the internet. I was gonna throw that in, but I was like, eh, not enough info on it. So it's definitely a floating alien satellite. Number three, nursing home spirit. This photo was taken from a nursing home resident the same night another resident had sadly passed away. Good time to take photos and have memories, I guess. This was back in 2015. That night they heard a door open and close a few times, but there were no visitors allowed. So obviously something was afoot. So there's a great amount of people who think that this image here is one of two things. The spirit of said resident that had passed away or the Grim Reaper. That's scary. If it's one of them, I hope it's the first. The door opening and closing, people think that was the Grim Reaper coming in and doing his Grim Reaper thing and then leaving. That's so scary. I mean, a few comments are saying how it's comforting to know that in the end of your life, you aren't alone and that somebody greets you and you know escorts you to the afterlife. I'd rather die alone than have this dude break into my house, to be honest with you, but that's just my opinion. Either way, possible photo of a ghost or the Grim Reaper. How fun is that? Hit the thumbs up for the Grim Reaper. Let's hope we don't see him anytime soon, except for on this list. Number two, Norway lights. Natural light phenomena is common on our big, beautiful planet. The northern lights, for example, the green flash, we've mentioned that before on this channel. Solar eclipses, I bet those were alarming back in ancient times. It just gets dark for a minute and they're like, uh, hmm, what happened? Hello, on, please. Some of these natural events look otherworldly. They look cosmic. Most of the time, there's an explanation awaiting, but for the mysterious glowing orbs floating over Norway, the Hesdalen lights, as locals refer to them, well, we still need answers for those. Scientists have been trying to gather research for a while now, and in 2014, after many impressive light shows, their best guess so far is that it's a natural battery that charges underground. Yep, whatever that means. Whatever the hell that means. Maybe this has something to do with the reoccurring lights over Phoenix, Arizona. Maybe it's just aliens just bopping about, just doing their alien bopping thing, their usual bopping spots. And finally, Finally, number one, time traveler. Do you believe in time travel? If your answer is no, maybe this last one will change your mind, hopefully. I'm from the future, it does. And you also hit that thumbs up. I've seen it in as many futures. It's a common theme in movies. Back to the Future, Looper, Avengers Endgame. Time travel plots are fun, but they're absolute nonsense. But when we see a case like the Cape Scott story, we can't help but be intrigued just a little bit, right? Could it be? Possibly? <laughs> Rhyming a little bit? Could it be possibly? Time travel or not, this is an interesting photo. It's really, it sticks out. It comes from Ray Peterson's book, The Great Cape Scott Story, and that book was from 1974, but this actual photo was taken over 100 years ago. And there's a modern looking guy in this photo. He looks like he was from yesterday. Rocking shorts, messy morning surfer hair, the thing I'm trying to do apparently in this video. Is that me? Is this my, like, my, my, my cousin? That's crazy. A photograph from the 40s seems to feature a modern man. Time travel confirmed. That's how we're ending this list. Boom. You're from the future. You saw this coming, right? Guys, those are the top 10 mysterious stories behind famous photographs in history. If you want 10 more, yeah, I'll get weird. Some of them are pretty haunting. I would love to haunt your nightmares as well. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and I'll see you on Most Amazing Top 10. Again, soon. Getting, getting weird with this one. Getting weird as the train derails. Hey, hon, it's a Tuesday. Classic train derail. Here we go. How about it? And not, this anonymous source. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Stay down. I feel like a tennis ball today with my ass hair, man.
Just like stay, nope. I'm gonna be bald next video. Ah, can't make bald jokes, I got punched or slapped.